Hello, everybody. It is me, back at it again. And today we're doing the AJH SME problems 23 to 25. This is part of an ongoing series of AMC 8 and AJH SME problems in which we do all 875 of them, starting with the 1985 one, which is the one that we are doing today. We're doing problems 23 to 25, and let's begin. Problem 23. King Middle School has 1,200 students. Each pupil takes five classes a day. Each teacher teaches four classes. Each class has 30 students and one teacher. How many teachers are there at King Middle School? So we're going to want to start this by finding, you know, the total number of classes that are taken by all the pupils at the school. And this is pretty simple, right? You have, what, uh, five classes a day, 1,200 pupils. Each pupil takes five classes. 1,200 times five is 6,000. So let's write this down. 6,000. Correct. And then each teach, and then and then each class has 30 students. So the total number of classes is going to be, uh, like the total number of classes, the total number of classes taken by students, like the total number of hours, I suppose, based on the, in a unit of time that is a class is going to be 6,000. The total number of classes, which is not related, is going to be that over 30, all right? Because each class has 30 students, you have 6,000 uh, classes that need to be taken. You have 200 of these classes, right? Each of them needs one teacher. Now, each teacher teaches teaches four classes. So obviously, we're going to divide by four to find the number of teachers. 200 over 4 is equal to 50. So that is our solution. Alright, let's move on to the next one. This one is interesting. Um, okay. In a magic triangle, each of the six whole numbers, 10 through 15, is placed in one of the circles, so the sum s of three numbers on each side of the triangle is the same. The largest possible value for s is what? Okay. So let's let's think about this problem. Let's let's think of it in terms of where each number needs to go. Okay? Let's think, where should the bigger numbers go? I mean, if we if we think about it, you know, in, in like, divisions of thirds, you know, you have this, you have this, and you have this, right? And, oops, can I redo? Oh, give me a second, guys. Oh, this is just unfunky. Nope, okay. So, 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 let's think of this in terms of circles, right? You have this type of circle, which connects two areas. There are three of those. And you have this type of circle, which connects one area, right? So where do we want the bigger numbers? Well, if you think about it, you want it in this type of circle, right? The biggest number, you want the biggest numbers to be in here, here, and here. Why? Well, because then they're going to be at, being added on in two sets of things, meaning, so if you think about it, right, if we have a 15 here rather than a 10, then you're going to be adding 15 to two of them in, rather than one of them, right? Because if you have a 15 here, then you're only adding it to this row, right? You're adding something else here, which is not as big, therefore you're going to get a smaller number. So you want the bigger numbers to be in these areas. So we're going to put what? 15, 14, and 13. And then obviously the sum is all the same. So these two sum to 27, these two sum to 29, and these two sum to 28, right? Oh, that's a horrible nine. Okay, 28, right? And if they're all the same, then this, the number that goes into this one has to be two bigger than the number that goes into this one. Right? And it has to be one bigger than the one that goes in this one. So this one has to be the biggest. This is the second biggest. This is the third biggest. This is going to be 12. This is going to be 11. This is going to be 10. Correct? Then we, you know, we add them up to find the largest possible value for S. So of three numbers on each side. 29 plus 10 is 39. So let me get rid of all of this. I should just erase it, honestly. Don't know what I'm doing with my life. Okay. Oh. Well, now it is unfunky. So, our solution is 39. Understand? Okay. 
Now, the next one is a, oops, is a bit more logic-y. This one is, it's kind of, if you don't understand it, it's going to be kind of hard for me to explain it, but we will try. Right, five cards are laying on a table, as shown. Each let card has a letter on one side, and a whole number on the other side. Jane said, if a vowel is on one side of any card, then an even number is on the other side. Mary showed Jane was wrong by turning over one card. Which card did Mary turn over? Ah, <sighs> let's use process elimination on this one. Right? So, let's see, P. P can't work because it's not a vowel. Right? Therefore, if you flip it over, you're going to get any random number, but that won't tell you anything because the problem is asking about vowels. So P doesn't work, respectively. Q doesn't work. Now, 3, 4, and 6. Let's take 6 first. 6 is an even number. So one might think that if an even number is flipped over and it shows a consonant, then that disproves the statement. However, this is not true because it's, it's like, you know, a rectangle is not a square. However, a square is a rectangle kind of thing. So if you have a 6, if you have an even number, you can have anything on the other side, right? Because it's not saying that if an even number is on one side, then a vowel is on the other, right? It's saying that if a vowel is on one side, then an even number is on the other. That doesn't mean that all even numbers have to have a vowel. That means that's saying that all vowels have to have an even number. Therefore, if we turn over 6 and we get a consonant, that doesn't tell anything. Tell us anything. Likewise with 4. However, 3 does make sense. Because if you flip over the 3 and get a vowel, then that disproves your statement, right? Because you flip over a 3, you get a vowel. Then if And Jane says, if a vowel is on one side of card, an even number is on the other side. However, if you have a 3, which is an odd number, and you flip it over and get a vowel, then you're not going to have that statement be true. So therefore, our answer is 3. Thank you for watching this video. Please go check out AOPS.com. It's one of the best websites. Like, it's... God, it's so good. There's so much stuff ad-free. You can create an account for free. It's, it's, a, it's like, it's a non-profit. It's really an incredible website. Um, I think that does it. I think that finishes off the 1985 AJHSME. If I'm correct in staying this, then we are done. Uh, I shall see you next time. Uh, El Gregor gone.